everyone. This is Devin from the Listen Support Team here. Uh, I wanted to take a moment today to talk about optimizing your sequence, uh, especially if you're working from home with Soundcheck. A lot of us are out of the office uh, with everything that's been going on, and if you have your hardware key and your sequences, now can be a really great time to maybe boost their performance or just do some housekeeping. So the first thing I wanted to show was the stimulus step. And within the stimulus step, I wanted to highlight the step size uh, measurements here. So if you're working in a production house where you're running a sequence multiple times per day, testing many, many devices, you may want a stimulus that is even faster. A faster stimulus means a faster sequence means you can test more devices in a day, right? So if you just adjust the step size, let's say I drop my minimum cycles from 25, let's go down to 10, and the duration per cycle, and then I update, you can see my duration dropped by even more than half. That can speed things up significantly, or if you're in an R&D environment and you want to go for ultra, ultra accuracy and time is not an issue, or if you're testing in a very noisy environment, you can increase the minimum number of cycles and the minimum duration per cycle. You can see it's going to take much longer, but because of the increased time spent on each step, the measurement confidence is going to be much higher. Now, another thing you can do in this work from home time is adjust your display steps. So if you have a very long sequence and you want some feedback after very critical steps, if things have passed or failed, now is a good time to add those steps, right? So you don't have to run a very long sequence and then hope at the end everything went well. You can also adjust the size and color of your graphs. If you're now graphing more data than when the sequence was initially created, now's a good time to adjust everything and just make it pleasing to look at. Or if there's too many graphs and you've seen them multiple times, you don't need that much feedback, take it out. You can speed up your sequence. Another great part of Soundcheck is the ability to add comments to your sequence. Now, this is very, very good housekeeping practice to keep track of what's going on in a sequence, uh, especially if you're working from home and you're collaborating with people all around the world. You can comment exactly what's happening. If I right click on a step, I can add a comment step here. Comment goes here. And they appear in this comment column off to the right here. So I can label every single step, or I could say, pay attention to the step, or limits may need to be adjusted, or stimulus has been adjusted. That can all go in the comment section. And I can insert a comment line where new section begins. If I want to break up my sequence and indicate where different sorts of analysis are starting, I can do that through comment steps. Another thing you can do is you can repurpose a sequence. So if you're anticipating maybe some new devices being tested, especially when you get back into the production area, you can get ahead of the curb and create a new version of an existing sequence, maybe with some different sensitivity so you can change your level within the stimulus and you can change your sensitivity steps in anticipation of new products. That way you can hit the ground running. And the last thing I wanted to mention is we're still around. The support team is still around and available. So if you have any questions or comments or, or things that you've been curious about, or maybe you want to add new modules and upgrade, give us a ring shoot us a message at support at listeninc.com. We're working and we'd love to hear from you. So have fun with this work from home time. Really dive into the software and make sequences work for you. All right. Have a good one, guys.